What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is obviously something very different. As you can see, I'm talking through a microphone right now. I got my SM7B plugged into Luna with a, what is it, UA610A preamp, trying to make my vocals sound more professional. My video is trying to make this whole Gabriel Bergman guitar experience more more professional, got my in-ears in. So, off to a good start, I think. Today's video is a different one. It's more of a gear review or story. As many of you, I'm sure, would have already seen on my Instagram, at gbergman8, I am the new owner, new proud owner, of a Telecaster-style guitar, a T-style guitar, from the brand K-Line, the official name, K-Line Truxton. So how did this come to be? Well, originally I was never a Telecaster person. Um, not until about mid 2020 when I was really into Robin Ford that Telecasters never struck with me, nor did I really connect with them. But I started playing a couple in mid 2020 and it hit me and the sound also was one that I really wanted. So the hunt for Telecaster somehow or somewhat started and it was going pretty fine. Nothing serious until maybe the first really good one I played was in November 2020, right around Thanksgiving era at Guitar Center in Hollywood. It was a 1950 Fender Custom Shop broadcaster reissue in Journeyman Relic for the 70th anniversary, and that guitar was awesome. But pricey and still early in the Telecaster journey, so I'm not sure really what I'm looking for, what's good, what's bad, because I come from a lot of the Gibsons. So at that point, I put it off to the side, like, eh, I'll get a Telecaster, whatever. There's no rush. There's no gigs happening for the foreseeable future, that's for sure. Um, then towards the end of the year, it picked up more, and another great one at Guitar Center was this Joe Bonamassa 1955 collection series that was a master build 1 of 15 by Yuri Shishkov. Incredible guitar, very pricey. So I stopped, I was like, oh, again, no rush for Telecaster. Come January, late, mid to late January, my birthday's coming up in February, which was last week, the 11th, I turned 26. Again, the journey was, okay, this is becoming more realistic now. I know what I'm looking for. I know my price range and everything. So the journey began and began more with an end goal. Now, let's find a Telecaster. So I played a bunch here in Hollywood, for example, in LA, at Guitar Center and at Sam Ash. At Guitar Center, played Ventera's American Pro, American Ultra, Ventera Modified, Fender Custom Shop, um... Same at Sam Ash. I played a 70th anniversary broadcast for the USA model and as well as a custom shop Telecaster Heavy Relic, which was not a good one, unfortunately. And also very pricey, but it was not a good one. The Relic thing did not look realistic. Then I went to LA Vintage and I played a couple there. Um, some Exotics, K-Line, Danocaster, um, and I think that's it. And as you can see, I chose the K-Line, was in my price point, was a great playing guitar. And I purchased it the day before my birthday, last week on the 10th. And so far, when this video comes out, it'll have been almost a week that I had the guitar. And it's incredible. For all intents and purposes, it's a 50-style Telecaster Blackguard. Um, 10 and trace, I think it was, all K-Line um, pickups and hardware. Um, the neck feels incredible. Feels already worn in, already plated, super, super smooth. And it looks realistic under, as opposed to Custom Shop where it's sanded and then yellow with the lacquer towards the headstock and towards the um, neck joint. This one is all smooth, as you can see in the B-roll right now. Super realistic, and this guitar screams. The neck pickup is round, but still has some clarity. The middle position is the very 
classic Telecaster middle position, and the bridge pickup can just take your head off with some light overdrive, and especially you pick towards the bridge. Super, super twangy, as they say. Um, so let's check it out on this Tele Tuesday. I'll get the guitar, and we'll look at it and plug it in. Let's go. So, here is the guitar, as you can see, <laughs> Hi, the K-Line Truxton, and like I said before, for all intents and purposes, is a 50 style Telecaster Blackguard, butterscotch blonde finish, sounds incredible, and plays incredible. Neck is so smooth, frets are nice, oh man. I love it so far. I haven't put it down. Um, the rig for this video, for this little like tone tasting video, um, guitar, Soraya Tone Santira into the Howard Deluxe, Howard Deluxe into the Aux. And if you haven't watched last videos, it talks about my Howard Deluxe settings for the Aux. Um, so we'll go through the pickups and then we'll put some overdrive on and that'll be the video. So let's go. Here is the neck pickup. <laughs> Neck pickup. Awesome. We'll go to the middle position, both pickups, and that gives you this very classic JM, if I ever get around to living tone. Go to the bridge pickup, and that really hits you in the face. <laughs> So, so good. Oh man. So now we'll engage the uh, Centura for some light overdrive and see where that takes us. Back to the uh, neck pickup. Thank you. 
yeah. What else it can do? It can do like very some Grateful Dead stuff as well. Go to the middle pickup, and you can take off for the If I Ever Get Around to Living solo. bridge pickup. Oh man, it's awesome. If you go also to like the middle pick, you can maybe do like a like a I know you writer. Telly Tuesday. My first Telly Tuesday. Hell yeah. Oh, man. So that is the K-Line Truxton, my new Telecaster, basically. Um, so the in-ears, it sounds great. So let's see how it all sounds in the video that you're watching. Um, I am so happy with the purchase. It's a great collection to the arsenal. Um, this makes me want to play more simple because it's a very simple guitar. There's really no hiding around it. Um, just makes me want to almost practice more and become a real master at my instrument and my craft and on the guitar. Um, it's fun playing new stuff, new voicings, and it's doing what a new sh guitar should it inspire you to play differently. And it's doing that, and I'm loving every moment of it. I put 10.5 gauge strings on it, my usual gauge um, action is perfect. Wouldn't change anything, honest on the guitar. Um, so you'll see it more in videos, and we'll see where this guitar will go with me. Hopefully, when gigs open back up, start gigging with me and everything, and do it during Skype lessons. And um, it's real treat, real honor to have this guitar in the collection. So thank you all for watching today's video. It really means a lot. Thank you for all the support. I'm really trying to make this channel more professional. As you can see, the lighting is great today. Got the microphone. Um, maybe trying to get a desk stand for my camera so I can put the camera behind my computer. 
use that during Zoom lessons and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we're taking it day by day and just really trying to get there and continue growing the channel. Thank you all that continue watching and supporting and commenting and liking and all the videos. It really means a lot to me. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you guys liked today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.